Big Turtles in Little China. Hi, I'm Andre and I'm a black nerd and it's the return of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episode recap, Turtle Power. A Chinatown ghost story, the Ninja Turtles are back on television and a week before on Nickelodeon's website. And I think the next episode is already up on Nickelodeon's website. They are basically leaking themselves. These episodes are like the iPhone 6 of the Smash Brothers character roster. In this episode, the Lords of Death, I mean the Purple Dragons, find an evil ghost named Lo Pan, I mean Ho Chan, who kidnaps Kim Cattrall and an Asian girl with green eyes, I mean April O'Neil. Neil and Irma. So Jack Burton and his Asian sidekick, I mean Casey Jones and Donatello, had to stop the three storms of thunder, lightning, and rain, I mean wind. This episode is basically Big Trouble in Little China. Like if you haven't seen this episode, just go on Netflix, turn on Big Trouble in Little China, and then just change the tint on your television to a greenish hue, and done. And you get a longer episode and a head explodes. Now I gotta be honest, the last time I saw Big Trouble in Little China, I was actually a kid. I either watched it on HBO, or even worse, a television edit on TBS. So actually, after the episode, I went onto Netflix and watched Big Trouble in Little China, just to refresh myself, remind myself, and to catch all the references once again. And whoo, I forgot how cheesy that movie was. I know some of you are gonna have your nostalgia glasses on and be like, oh, it's the best movie ever. It's got its parts. Kurt Russell is hilarious, but man, that movie is so cheesy. I was expecting for Chester Cheetah to show up with a bag of Cheetos and be like, you deserve to be fired. Donatello and Casey Jones are running around with April and they are on high C block and alert. By the way, there's a part where Donatello is fighting and when he's done fighting, he turns around and he slicks his dome back and there's like glittery sparkling lights all around him. You know exactly what I was thinking when I saw that. Smooth Donatello. They are fighting each other, trying to impress her in the fight, and in doing so, completely ignore the purple dragons have run away with this special dagger that has the ghost of Lo Chan or Ho Chan. See, I'm gonna, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna mix the <laughs> Big Trouble Little China names and the names of the characters in the cartoon. Ho Chan, who is voiced by James Hong, who played Lo Pan in Big Trouble Little China. <laughs> He's a ghost and he wants to be mortal again, but he has to get the energy, the essence from someone with special powers. Hmm, a human in New York who has a special gift that he could use to make himself human again. Anyone have any guesses? Of hey, Romeo, gonna be? Romeo, Romeo, Romeo. When Ho Chan was trying to search in his mind of who would be the perfect girl to help him become mortal again, I love that he went, oh, I see a girl with red hair and a yellow jumpsuit. Oh no, I just mean a t-shirt. Nice reference to the old April, I like that. Maybe he was looking at other dimensions. Maybe that means that the other April is still out there and maybe we'll see her again, maybe in season three, maybe, maybe, fingers crossing. So he gives the purple dragons the powers of thunder, lightning, and wind. I wish there were more purple dragons so they could also have the power of fire and heart. We're the purple dragons. You can be one too. April and Casey are on a date, kind of at the ice rink because Irma's there. Irma's always gonna tag along. And the powered up purple dragons show up, kidnap April and Irma. I especially loved it when Casey was like, April, no! Oh yeah, and Irma, Irma, no. <laughs> but when the turtle's trying to save the day, Ho Chan is like, oh, wait a minute. I got these little stupid purple dragons when I could be having these powers on some ninja turtles. So he takes the powers away from the purple dragons, gives them to the ninja turtles, and now they're under mind control, except for Donatello, who has to work with Casey Jones to try to save everybody. Now, I usually don't give this cartoon complaints, but I have to say right now, Ninja Turtles cartoon, you gotta stop with the mind controlling of the turtles, okay? We've had them controlled by fungi, we've had them controlled by a sparrow wizard, we've had them controlled by pizza. Let them think for themselves, all right? Let the turtles be like in vogue. Free your mind and the rest will follow. Be colorblind, cause you're green. Don't be so shallow. So now, of course, Donatello and Casey Jones, who are left, have to put aside their differences and work together to get through this Big Trouble in Little China parody. At some point, I was hoping that Razar would show up because when I watched the movie again and that monster came up that grabs Kim Control, the first thing I thought in my brain was, is that Razar? It kind of reminds me of Razar from Turtles 2. That thing that's in the movie that has the multiple eyes. I was hoping that maybe they have a crane that would show up that would have that as well. And also from the movie, there's a woman that was with them who's just there to be like, I'm a reporter and I gotta get this story so I was like whoa is that April O'Neil but anyway the turtles fight Ho Chan he's of course hard to deal with because he's got giant hands everybody loves giant hands <laughs> April and Irma get out of their trance April stabs Ho Chan not in the head this time Donatello and Casey Jones learn how to work together and they hug it out and I thought what was very interesting was when Irma started coming to the turtles ran away so they're still doing the whole thing of where Irma does not know anything about the Ninja Turtles I'm wondering how long it's gonna last also there was a weird part where Ho Chan was talking to Irma and he was like ah 
uh, you have a power that I don't understand yet. And then they close up of her green eyes. Now, I don't know if that was just supposed to be a reference to the fact that in the movie, meeting a girl with green eyes, or if that was supposed to be some kind of indicator that maybe there's more about Irma than we know, and she could come out to be a little bit more important than just a tag along in future episodes. This I do know. Don't think I didn't catch that scene from behind her. That's right. We got some Irma booty in this episode. Don't think I don't know what you guys are doing, animators. I catch it. Somehow I think you probably heard me, and now you're just doing it on purpose. Hey, how many cartoon characters have a butt? We are the turtle animators. So, Play Cousins, let me know what you thought of a Chinatown ghost story, and what movie would you love to see the Ninja Turtles pay homage to next? Thumbs up this video, and if you're new here, tickle that subscribe button. I make new nerdy videos all week, every week. I've got a couple of videos where I interview Rob Paulson, Greg Sipes, and Ciro, the executive producer. Make sure you watch those. Just click them. It's all in the reflexes. I love you like a play cousin. I'm out of 5,000. Chain chomp yomp.